Alrighty, everyone. We're back. It is time for more retro replay or retro react, excuse me. The Resident Evil Director's Cut. Uh, let's keep going and see where it goes. We got anyway, the first let's zombie kill. Mr. Wesker. Huh. I like how all the zombies wear the same generic shirt. They all wear the same outfit. Look. They all wear the same outfit. It's so good. It's like you a, think a is that true? I don't know if they all wear the same outfit. In I think the first two zombies go did. Back. Uh, oh. Ooh, very nice. Well, that's a staple of my content. That's never changed over the years. Oh, shit. Wesker! <laughs> what a Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Okay. Behind the staircase. Put them back Is there, there a secret thing there? I think it opens. I think it's a door that opens later. Huh. Behind the staircase. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Oh no! Beats me too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, See, it's like <clears throat> it totally feels like number one. It sounds like the the voice actors are not native English speakers because they don't even have the inflection or the tone of like a native English speaker. It's just like they know the words but they don't know what they mean. So they just read it. It's kind of like Shakira when she was singing in English. Her her fucking none of her lyrics made any sense the way she said it. What? What are you saying? She wouldn't even pronounce the words right. And it sounds exactly the same like that. It can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay. I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And Jill, here's a lockpick. Aha. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Yes, the master of unlocking. Thanks. If she's if, if she's the master of unlocking, why didn't she have the lockpick on her to begin with? Why did Barry have to give it to her? Why would he even have it on him if she's the master of unlocking? <laughs> yeah, still well, car too. Did did you not? Did, did they all just go? Oh, let's load up for the mission. Everyone just like went across the table and went and put it into their pants. Like no one looked at what they were grabbing or anything, right? In your day. Listen, Chill. If something happens, you. let's meet up in this hall. Thank you, Mike, for a super sticker. I appreciate that, Mike. This time I'll be there. What the hell is that? <laughs> it's the epic xylophone soundtrack. It's just some dude dinging on a xylophone. Dong, uh -huh. dong, dong, dong. <laughs> I think you can go back now and there's like items uh -huh. and stuff there. Oh, what happened? I screwed up. I set up. Whenever you hear that ding correctly. sound, that's me screwing up on my PC. A dusty looking grandfather clock. So that was this weird Barry said that he would come back to the dining room and he's not even in here. He fucking took off. Uh. He's such an asshole. <laughs> not even where he said he would be. Love that classic door animation. On, just for the record, on PS1, dude, that door animation took forever because it was loading the new room and you'd have to sit there for like 25 seconds. You'd be like, Like, you could actually open your own door, go down the hallway, do something, come back, and then the room would load. It was bad back then. The loading was a, a, an issue. Because here's the thing. Um, previously, when everything was on, on cartridge, there was no loading. Cartridges were instant loading. This was a major issue on, on the CD systems, and this was made, one of the first major ones. It, it was a trade-off, though. I mean, obviously, the graphics and music and everything were much better. But, man, the loading was just unbearable at the time. So here's where he was dead. He's a shadow of his former self. Is there an item around here or something? It's ominously quiet outside. By the way, I was just thinking. So, DSP Throwback relaunched officially this year in January. We're now in September. So some of you might have your six-month badges already, which would be... I think the six-month badge would be the, the Silver Rewind or maybe the Double Silver Rewind. 
I'm trying to remember. No one should have the gold yet. I think the gold rewind would be like a year. So like January of next year, some people may have the gold rewind. If they stayed members all that time, right? What does my mustache feel like? Like a bunch of wiry hairs. Yeah. Remarkable. Maybe one day your balls will drop. You'll be able to grow some there, Palm Bears. Um, anyway, I got a couple of sh tips to shout out here. We have a very generous $25 tip from Rick Perez. You actually paused the video while on break. Already better etiquette than content vampires like Asmongold and Hassan Piker. What do you mean? I don't know what you mean. Why, why would I play a video when I'm not here? What I do is when I go on breaks during my gameplay streams and my PC is on and it's set up, I play clips of my other content. So that way I don't lose viewers. In this case, all I had to do is pee really quick. So I didn't feel like I had to really do too much. I can just like, just play it, you know? This is Rick Perez with a $25 tip. Which is very generous. The biggest contribution of the night so far. Thank you. That gets us up to 35 bucks in tips tonight, everyone. Thank you so very much. And I received another $5 tip. From End of Days, who says, They call him Barry because he clings to Jill like a dingleberry. That's why she wears shoulder pads to protect herself from Barry's creepy shoulder rubs. That's incredibly weird. I've certainly never heard that theory before. Uh. <laughs> that Barry is some kind of a bizarre predator creeper guy. I've never heard that one. I've heard he's like a cheesy dad-like character because in, in reality, in future Resident Evil installments, he's back and he is, he, you know, he talks about his daughter and everything. Um, Isn't his daughter in one of them, actually, I think? But... Uh, yeah, I've never heard that interpretation. Interesting. All right, here we go. Picture of this mansion is on the wall. There we go. I, I, rem I remember there was an item here somewhere, but it was weird. There's like, like feet or something. Now I should be able to lockpick this door now. You have used the lockpick. This is a door that Chris would not have been able to open. During the campaign at this point, you see, he doesn't have the lockpick. You see, he would have to come back here later to do stuff. This is why the campaign's. I remember different. what's in here. This is the bar. You have to play a, a tune on the piano, I think, at one point. The Moonlight Sonata. Play it now. A fine grand piano. Aha. Map? Aha! No, the music. So this is how you play notes? the Moonlight yes, Sonata. I will. All right. His daughter was in Resident Evil Revelations. Ah, one of them. The second one. The first one they were on a boat. The second one Barry's in it. So it was in the second one. Right. Let's play some notes. It's Moonlight Sonata. Here we go. Here we go. Dun 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 dun. Dun, 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 Like her shoulder plaid is clipping in and out of existence as she plays the piano. But back then, song. no one cared. Played People were so zombies. happy. People were literally so happy to just have 3D graphics and get out of the 2D era. They didn't care that the graphics were very, very rough. Oh, it was, to them, it was like, oh, it's better than nothing. <laughs> and the zombies all come out and dance. Do, do, do. Oh, shit. Look at that shiznit. Uh -huh. Pressed. You got the golden emblem. That's a crest. It's not an emblem. It's a crest. Uh oh. Oh, oh no. Shit. It's the hollow that emblem was in. Let's put the regular emblem in there. That was a shitty wooden emblem. One. No one wants that. We want solid gold. What happens is you later on you leave, you find the All vendor, right, and cool. you sell the solid gold emblem. You buy a ginormous Uzi. first puzzle down. You just go, do, 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 and murder. It's unlimited dual Uzis. You just kick out all the zombies with it with the credits you get from the gold emblem. Remarkable. Ah, that one's locked from the inside. Must be a shortcut door. All right, I received a two dollar tip from a Jill sandwich. I don't care what anyone says. Barry's the best character in the game. He's not even playable. 
You know, as a, the best character in the game does never does not have to be a playable okay, character. Yeah, here we go. Does not have to be the main protagonist or antagonist. It could definitely be a, a supporting character for sure. And I agree, Barry is awesome in this game. I love shooting that clock. Yes. I shot the clock. Does nothing, but you know. Okay. Got that typewriter. I didn't even mess with the typewriter yet. I don't know if you have any I which ribbons. Which door's supposed to go in? Not this one, right? Yeah, it's the other one. A carving of an armor. In the armor key. I need to key. find a crest that has an armor on it. No, I need a key. The armor key. Just a crest for a puzzle later. That's not it. I did play Parasite Eve, but I never finished it, New Jeans. I played a, bit, a good way into it, but I never went back to it. Here we go. Reload. This is way better when it's no loading times, because on the original PlayStation 2, every time you saw one of those doors, there was like massive loading times. Now there's none, so it's great. Nothing unusual. But one, one year I had multiple Halloween outfits, if you remember. The first half of that year, I dressed up as Colonel Sanders, and then I changed outfits, and I ended up being Barry Burton for the second half. Remember? I was two outfits in one Halloween many years ago. It was a good one, too. I really liked those outfits. A beautiful oil painting, yes. Alright, well, as you can see, we got stuff to push here. Aw, oh, tank controls. <laughs> Trying to get Getting above stuck. it. Getting <clears throat> stuck. There we go. It's a map of the first floor. Will you take it? Of course. No. You got the map. I'm a real map. Floor. I don't need a map. Throw it out the window. <clears throat> All right, now we got to push this out of the way. Yes, I played Resident Evil Code Veronica. Don't don't you remember? Classic meme that happened when I was playing Code Veronica right here in this seat, where all of a sudden a pop-up ad opened up on my laptop out of nowhere, and it said Ballpark Beef Franks. And everyone freaked out and jumped because they were like, what the hell was that? It scared me too. Because, you know, back then, I sometimes used guides and stuff to get through games. I didn't play, like, legit play cold. Sometimes I would get stuck and I would use a guide. And that's what it was. The guide site had a freaking pop-up ad that scared everybody. Let's see here. Oh, excuse me. If I remember correctly, so, there's a So, Sambuka just said something. I'm just going to throw this out there. He says, I wish that people who were going to contribute tonight... We contribute earlier because then we would be able to have pulls for hats and vests and get all the rewards early. Well, Sambuca, first of all, I will say this. Although I actually do echo your sentiment, it is kind of hypocritical because you didn't contribute at all tonight. So it's kind of messed up that he would say that. It would be something if he had, like, tipped or something. He hasn't contributed at all, and he's going to say that. That's kind of messed up. But he does have a tip. If you guys are interested in seeing the rewarded tiers tonight of, like, a hat at $100 or a vest of the Barry Burton red vest at $150, you know, Contribute earlier, and then we will have them for the whole stream. Some people tend to wait till the end of the stream, and when you do that, we're not going to get the rewards in time, or we're going to have to rush, and there won't be a time for a poll. I'll just have to toss something on fast, right? So it is a, it's a fair enough observation, but it's definitely hypocritical, too, because he didn't contribute. So. Not the inside waiting for me. Right around the corner here. Yep, he's still alive. Zambi. Oh, shit. <laughs> Zambi! Oh, 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 he's eating me! Punts his fucking head off. Yeah, she put his head in squirted she blood. Punts his fucking head right off. <laughs> what do we have here? Aha! Your first ink ribbon. Ribbon. That's how you save Dude. your game. Various pictures. Various yeah, pictures. Else here. The ink ribbon. What's up, at the gamer? Yes, Astrobot. I think I'm gonna go save my Tuesday. game simply because I know there's a part coming up next where you always take damage. Alright, we're gonna use the typewriter for the first time. Pretty gassy playing this game. Burped like three times already. The oh, there's not even sitting an hour. There. Oh shit. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yes. Let's go ahead and save the game. Oh, better not pull up my memory card. <laughs> memory card is not inserted. 
Oh, shit. What do you mean memory card is not inserted? How do I save my game? What? What? How do I save my game? Oh, yeah. So this is on PlayStation 3 emulating PS1. And I think you have to create a virtual memory card in order to actually save the game, which is bizarre. But I think you have to do it like right here. I think it's assigned slots or something like that. Yep, there it is. Oh, here we go. Is that how it works? I'm confused. Uh, is it assigned now? Assigned slots. Internal memory card. For slot one. Is that done now? Oh, it's taking it's forever. Sign now? Okay, let's see. Skip it. I think it's too long. It better work. There we go. It worked. Cool. <laughs> that nice. almost scared me. I thought I was going to be able to save my game. Holy shit, dude. Well, we're into part three. <clears throat> okay. And you can see, unlike the other retro reacts that we've done this year, because this is direct capture, it's seamless. I'm just going stop recording, uh, start recording again. So you don't get that big click and it goes dark and then it comes back. Instead, it's very seamless. The parts are just kind of blending into each other, which is actually much nicer, is it not? Um, Very different from my original style, for sure. <clears throat> okay. Back to business. What is this? A picture of a chubby woman. What the hell? Chubby Yo, woman? Use the lockpick. That's messed up. That's the whole thing. Why do you have to say that? <laughs> oh, right? Alright. This is the creepy part. Creepy stuff. No, it's not. Now is not when it's creepy. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, Never yes. mind. fucking jumps through the window. You're like, what the fuck? The Cerberus jump scare. Now the gamer says, wild to see how far Resident Evil has come and how much variety and innovation has happened in the series. Yeah, originally it was just a bunch of mutated zombies and undead monsters, shit. right? And then it became like insane mutations and things going all over the world. Oh, shit. Crazy. Dog wouldn't fucking die, man. I did that really good there. I, I, I seriously remember the first time I ever played this game. When that first dog jumped through the window. Alright? It literally scared the shit out of me. Like, I almost crapped my pants. Because I'd never expected that in a video game before. I'd never been scared playing a video game. So the whole thing was like, oh my lord, this is what the game's gonna be? I'm gonna be shocked and surprised at every turn. This is nuts. And the, when I tried to kill the dog, you know, you just start to panic. So you're trying to aim and fire, but you can't get to aim. You're missing. The dog jumps and hits you. It takes a big chunk of your life. And you're like, oh, shit. You know, you start to freak out. That's the beauty of this game. But the thing is, everyone knows about that jump scare now. So now it has zero effectiveness. But when it first was in the game, dude, it was 100% scary-ass shit. Seriously. Uh, I received a $5 tip. Excuse me. Here, well, the zombies are creepy like the bad touch berry. They'll be crawling on the floor, snacking on your feet. Ugh. They already did. They already bit her toe, remember? In the room where we found those ink ribbons. Well, she found the ink ribbons. Disgusting. Bad Touch Barry. Now he's called Bad Touch Barry, apparently. Getting even more disturbing. Guys, we are a mere $3 away from the Tier 1 goal. Never mind, because I just received a $5 tip. Very nice. And there's no way I'm reading that. It's absolutely disgusting. But it is a $5 tip. So I appreciate the $5 tip. But I don't read that, that nasty stuff on my stream. Yikes. Um, all right. So with that, we have reached the $50 mark, right? Here we go. So now we're at 52. 
So remember, at $100, you guys will have a poll determine a hat for me to wear tonight. And at $150, bucks, i will put on the red vest in honor of Barry Burton. Okay? Go. Right, so I don't Let's go. One third of the way there. Thank you, guys. Let's keep it moving. Oh, I'm in the wrong thing. Here we go. Now, why does this, this chest look so different than the others? It moves. I don't know why. Look. Oh, there was something uh -huh. there. Oh, wow. Flip, flip. Absolutely. I need to remember that. Mike is in another super chat. It's great content. I'm so glad I saw you on Kino. Thank you, Mike. I'm glad that you guys All right, I'll tell me that Kino Casino like... and now you're here to hang out with me. I appreciate it. I really do. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the chill, right? The chill vibes. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. This is like the only time in the game where you can see Jill up close. Yeah, it really is. Every other the time she's like further up. away, so it's actually pretty cool you get to see her here. All right, what's this? Locked. A card armor. Armor. Need the armor key again. So you go again. We gotta find that armor key. Oh no, shit! No, there's no. this door. I always forget oh, about this. Kino Casino's still on on vacation for at least another couple of weeks. They said that they weren't coming back until like later, later, later September. So my guess would be like two more weeks. They'll probably come back around like the third week of September, perhaps. Mirror. But I don't. I don't think they actually nailed it down to an exact day. I didn't say tell everyone like, this day is the day we're starting or anything. Oh. <laughs> Bathtub. It's the bathroom. A toilet. Nothing useful. What do you mean? What? A toilet is extremely useful. Here, take a shit. Go. Yeah. Better take one now, cause you're not gonna get a chance later when you're fighting fucking hunters. You'll be shitting your pants. All right, there's nothing in here. It's just a bathroom. <laughs> How exciting. There might be something there for... Uh, there definitely might be something there for Chris, but I, there's nothing there for Jill. It's empty for Jill. Oh, you gotta love these camera angles. Out. These fixed camera angles that are these, scary because you know there could be so a zombie narrow. at any corner. Right? And you can't see them. Let's check this out. <clears throat> oh, I think I know what room this is. Whoa. Interesting. I think I know angle. what room that is. A tapestry. Nothing unusual. Shoddy. I got that shoddy boom body. Yes. Take the shot, then, of course. You fool. Oh, I'm not going to use it yet. You never should have done that. Uh-oh, what did that do? An urn with a beautiful picture on it. Nothing unusual. Of course. Nothing at, at all unusual in this mansion at all. Got its usual weird heed doors that are locked. It's got its usual assortment of mutated creatures coming to eat you. Right? It's a normal mansion. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was a mistake. It's locked. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. You goofed. Save me. No. Shoot the goddamn lockout. No. I'm in trouble. Hey. What's going on? Jill? Is that you, Jill? <laughs> what happened? What are you doing Barry, in there? Help me, please. Are you naked? The door won't open. Quick! Stay away from the door, Jill. I'm gonna kick this door down. Barry's the rescue. Hurry! This way! Get the fuck out of there. So... For the, for the record, if you're Chris, you could die there. If you're Chris, no one helps you, and you could get crushed. If you're Jill, well, Barry will save your ass. Because what's supposed to happen is if you're Chris, you go through the different part of the mansion first, and you find a broken shotgun. Then you can put the broken shotgun in the place where you found the other one, you see? And then you can go in there and, uh, and get out without that thing crushing you. That's the puzzle. But for her, she gets out of it scot-free because she has the, the guardian angel Barry to save her butt. Uh, oh, damn. Barry! That was oh, too Barry. close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> oh. You're right. 
Fairly yes. Thanks for saving my life. What's weird? It sounds like he says jibble sandwich. Didn't it sound like he said jibble? Here. Damn. Barry. That was oh, Barry. too close. You were almost a jibble sandwich. It sounds like he's saying a jibble sandwich, not Jill, a jibble sandwich. But the quote is, it's, you were almost a Jill sandwich. And that's the, the funny quote that everyone uses as a meme. <laughs> You're right. Fair yes. Enough, thanks for saving my life. What the fuck's a jibble? But Barry. Again, again it's, uh, it sounds like these voice actors were hired not knowing what the plot was. English isn't their native speaking language. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, just, it sounds like they're bumbling their words and everything. Nothing sounds quite right. In the voice acting. Sandwich. Didn't you say you're going back to the dining room to do some research? Barry, Why take your pants off, Barry. Time here. for your reward. Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? This is something I wanted to check. I wanted to see if you truly are as stupid as I thought you were, and here you are, about to die. You know. <laughs> uh, all right, I received a ten dollar tip. Got a peace out, but I am looking forward to a great week coming up. Thank you, whoever that was. It was an anonymous tip. Ten bucks. And I, too, am looking forward to the week. Keep in mind, it's a weird week. I'm here for two more days in all gameplay those two days. Then I'm off on Wednesday, which is bizarre to have that like that when I just had it for Friday off. But then I'm here all day Thursday for the premiere of the MVC collection, which I cannot wait to play. I think that's going to be very fun on PC. And then we got the Juni King interview coming up on Friday. And then we got, like, tons of gaming next week of all these new games. So it's going to be a great... A great, uh, you know, streak of stuff coming up. And uh, I thank you all for chilling and, and looking forward to it. It's good stuff coming. All right, let's put the part here. Thank you guys for watching the Retro React to Resident Evil 1 Director's Cup. More coming. See you then.